guys welcome to another tutorial and in this video i will be talking i will be teaching you and how you can recreate this 3d colorful logo now it's super super easy to do and let's see how that's done the first thing we have to do is to create a new document so The document that I will be using for this tutorial is this custom size document which is 1000 by 1000 pixels and I will be renaming this to 3D Colorful Logo. So in case if you want to use the same size document as I am, you can easily just add the values in the width and the height options right here. Or if you feel like you can use some other size documents which are already been provided by Adobe Illustrator. And we just click on create. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is to create this shape of a letter C. So what we're going to do is I will be using this ellipse tool right here. So if we just click on this panel for a few seconds you will get this ellipse tool right here and I do not require the fill as of now I let the stroke be black the way it is so what I'm going to do is click uh, click on shift plus alt and then just drag my mouse to create one big circle like that so now we're going to go back to the ellipse tool again and Repeat the same process by clicking on to shift plus alt and this time I will be creating a smaller circle like this. Okay. So I will be creating two more circles over here. One will come about, uh, one circle will come over here and the other circle is going to come on the bottom part right here. So you come back here to this ellipse tool. Click on shift plus alt and just drag our mouse to make a circle like that. It's okay if, if some portions of your circle is sticking out, that's fine. But try and make sure that it fits more or less into the guide like that. I'm just going to leave a little bit outside so that... Uh, when we make this shape, it becomes a little easier. I'll be zooming on to some parts and just reducing the size like that. Okay. So I'll be selecting the circle we just created and I want to make another one right here, right? So I will be just clicking on Alt and just dragging it at the bottom like that. So once that's done, we can go ahead and select all of them. Come over here to this shape builder tool. The shortcut key for this tool is shift plus M. So if I move my cursor around, as you can see that the shape builder tool differentiates all these shaded parts into different parts, right? So what I'm going to do is I'll be just combining all of them together like this and I do not require this portion so to delete this all I'm going to do is click on alt and click on delete delete and we can go ahead and delete the a delete the portions that we do not require by clicking on alt like that I'll be selecting all of them again and this time I'll just let the stroke weight be a little high up to two points like that and if there are any other lines you feel that it's there you can get rid of them as well just have to check like this okay so in case if you see any points or anchor points that that are there and you just want to smoothen the edges out so you click on that anchor point and you just drag 
it like this till it becomes into a smooth part and we can get just maybe the portions we don't need okay this select this anchor point and also smoothen this one out like that okay so it looks much better like this wait so there's i see another anchor point right here which needs to be just curved like that so next thing what i'm gonna do is to to add different gradients in these parts so i will be now using the pen tool and making sure that there is no fill again we just require the stroke so by using the pen tool we make one anchor point here and make another anchor point like this and then just drag our mouse upwards or downwards like this by holding on to the anchor points to make an arc like that and clicking on escape to get rid of the pen tool like this so we're going to make two more anchor uh, two more arcs something like this on the middle portion and one on the lower portion right here so just make another anchor point make another anchor point over here and just drag your mouse to make an arc like that click on escape to get rid of the pen tool and we make another point over here make another anchor point like this and just move it around like that and press escape to get rid of the pen tool okay so now what we're going to do again is i'll go ahead and select all of them and with the help of the shape builder tool as you can see that it now recognizes all these parts are different parts right so for it for now i will be just filling it with solid colors then we can just go ahead and add the gradient a little later so and like that so i'll select all these extra parts of the line like this and get rid of them as well i'll select all of them and also i'll get rid of the stroke as well okay so as you can see thanks to the shape builder tool all these different parts are ungrouped and we can just select them manually and add the gradients as per we like so i'll select this one this first portion click on this gradient tool right here and as you can see in this gradient slider this is by default that the gradient is from white to black so we can go ahead and also change the colors right so i'll click on this white one and choose a random color so let's say light blue and in the black one i'll use dark blue and just change the angle like this or probably just make it go the other way like that so now you can just go ahead and similarly add different colors to the rest of the parts like that so i'll select this one go back to the gradient tool this time just change the color of the light blue so what all colors that actually suit well with dark blue yeah so yellow looks a really good color like this and now we'll just change the angle like that select the third one come back to the gradient tool and instead of dark blue now i'll be using the color red like this change the angle like that come back here to this last portion come over here to this gradient tool and instead of yellow now wait oops just click on double click on this and i'll be choosing the color 
pink or no, purple would look good yeah and like that oh now we've added the different gradients so let's go ahead and also add another background color something like this right so i'll be coming back here to this rectangle tool and for now i'll be just using a solid light gray color so i'll just go over here to this one corner and then just drag my mouse so that it becomes covers up the entire document like that right click on my square that i just created go to arrange and send to back so i click on this i'll select the background and come back here to the gradient tool again and this time what i'll be doing over here i'll be adding a light gray color and instead of the red i'll be adding a darker shade of gray and in this type one i'll be using the radial gradient like that and then i with the gradient slider i can just play around like that this looks pretty good and we can just move this around if that's needed but nah oops yeah so the last thing I'm going to do is I'll select all my portions, these parts again, and I'll add a drop shadow behind it. So in order to do that, we'll be going to effects, stylize, and drop shadow. So if you click on preview, you can see that a drop shadow has been added and the opacity is the same. I haven't, I'm not going to change the opacity. I'm going to let it be 75%. Let the setting be the way it is. And there you go. Our 3D colorful logo has now been created with different effects as well. So now we can go ahead and also save our document. In order to do that, we'll be going to file, clicking on save as and by default our file name is going to be the same as our document which was 3d colorful logo and my save as type is going to be an adobe illustrator file i highly recommend that we save a file in this format so that in case if i want to make any further changes i can easily do that by accessing my ai file and just clicking on save and okay and that's it. Our document has now been successfully been saved as an Adobe Illustrator file. So I hope you found this tutorial to be useful and with a little practice you can also play around with different letters and add different gradients and if you want or just let the colors be a solid color as well. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for more.